you can see I have the VDC off light, I have the sleep light, and the check engine light on as well. Uh, when I put the OBD reader, it says that uh, I'm getting the code uh, P0345, which is a camshaft sensor, bank 2. So I'm going to replace that sensor and show you where it's located and how to replace it. And then we see if this problem is fixed. Alright guys, so we're going to replace the crankshaft position sensor bank 2 uh, which is the one that's located all the way in the back right here on this side. So what you need to do first is you have to remove this which is four bolts. You can use a 10 millimeter socket and you can remove it. In this case I already loosened it up so I can just take it out and put it on the side. Now, uh, there are some people that will say that in order to remove the sensor, you can do it from this side, but you have to remove the throttle body. You have to remove the, this side. You gotta remove all of these plastics. I mean, just, that's just too much work. Uh, you can do the job from this side. It's just a little bit uh, complicated because you can see, but it's doable and it's much easier than removing all of that part. So to remove the sensor, this is the sensor I'm going to put. So to remove it, all you need is a, the same uh, 10 millimeter socket with an extension and the ratchet. Uh, let me show you where the sensor is. So this is sensor one, it is right here. I'm pointing it with this pointer. Let me see. This is sensor one right here that's sensor one this is this is not the one we're going to replace but if you have to replace that one then you already know where the location is this is sensor one we're replacing crankshaft sensor two which is located you can go from here and is Is this sensor right here? The one with the green connector. That one right there. So you can use a 10 millimeter socket to remove it. And I'm going to show you how. All right, I'm going to use these ratchets. It's a little bit smaller than the one I had. So the smaller the better here because there's not enough room, but it's not pretty tight, so what you have to do is just loosen it up a little bit and then you can use the extension to take it off. So. You see how it's there? Okay. So right there it's a little bit loose, so that's it. Now we can just use the extension. See if I can give you a better angle. So right there. Watch out, cause you might drop the the bolt. Yes. Use your finger. Put it on the side. And now you can remove the sensor. You can just wiggle it and pull. There. there it is. So that's the sensor. And in order to take it out, what you have to do is you gotta push this down and then just pull the pull the sensor out. Okay. What I just found out is you can push the, the green connector all the way down until it clips and then from there you can take it out. And you can just pull and there it comes out. Yeah, it's very oily. So put it on the side and now we're going to put this one.
just have to follow the same instructions backwards i'm gonna put a link down below where you can buy the sensor oh so let's try it you guys will put it easier because i'm only using one hand because i'm holding the camera so Yeah, just push the sensor all the way inside. Oh, there you go. Yeah, once you push it in all the way, the connector just unclips. So, there. And now, let me show you how it looks down there. We are going to put it right there. Oh, it's a lot of oil. All right. Let's see. To do is put this the bolt. That's it. Right, it took me no less than 10 seconds to put it inside the hole. Now I'm taking the extension with the 10 socket and I'm gonna screw it in all the way. There. And then just use the ratchet to tie it to tight the bolt. All right, they're finished. So I already put the crank, the camshaft sensor. Uh, now what you can do is you can put the cover back. But in this case, let's turn on the car and see. Hopefully the lights are off. As you can remember, I had the check engine light on and the other two lights were on as well. So let's see. Perfect. As you can see, my check engine light went out and also the other two lights I have, they're out. Um, so, all right, guys, I mean, uh, I really hope this video helped you. Uh, if it did, uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Give a big thumbs up. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, peace.